All right, 80 degrees and sunny out in the middle of the woods. Yeah, a couple inches down. Nice old axe head. Probably not too old, but it's always a neat find. On to the next. Couple inches down, it's a horseshoe. Not a thrilling find, but at least it's something. On to the next. All right, new ball field today. Nice day. It's only uh, maybe two, three inches down. Interesting find. Crucifix. Unfortunately, I think it's copper or brass, not silver. Still a good find, though. Can't complain about that. On to the next. There's my buddy sitting in a hole on a baseball field. He says, Get the heck out of here, dude. It's a perfect spot for me in the shade. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone, pal. See you later. All right, I found this half of a toy gun about 20 feet away. And now, I think I found the rest of it. That's pretty neat. Definitely an interesting find. I'm glad I found the other half. Should go together nicely. First toy gun I ever found, actually. Very cool. On to the next. All right, only a couple inches down. Looks like a little hatchet. Obviously not old because it has electrical tape on it. Still ain't fine though. No? I'll take it. On to the next. Neat little cellar hole here. Not very big, but I'm sure somebody beat me to it. Interesting find though. On to the next. All right, middle of the woods here. Kind of neat find. A well. This place has been metal detected to death, so not much hope here, but still kind of neat to check out stuff like this. Interesting find. On to the next. All right, I found this about three inches down. Looks like a really old axe head. That's a neat find. It's broken, of course, but probably 1800s. Very cool find in the middle of nowhere. On to the next. All right, this is a toughie. A good six inches down, lots of roots, but definitely worth it. Looks to be a large scent. Facing right, I think, so that's probably a drape bust, maybe. I don't know, kind of toasty, not too, too bad. Might be able to get a date off of that, I don't know. We'll see. Definitely a very good find, though. On to the next. All right. Middle of the woods here, following a stone wall, which I like to do. A couple inches down. 
Nice old axe head. Pretty neat. Of course it's broken. They're always broken, but still a neat find though. On to the next. All right, here's part one of the wrap up. Shooting it outside, so it might be a little noisy. First find, some horseshoe. I know, kind of boring, but I like finding horseshoes. I think that's my 20th horseshoe now. Not bad. And here's this neat little hatchet I found. It's not old, but it was in really good shape. I rewrapped the electrical tape and put a nice edge on it. Now I have a working hatchet. Very nice. This is the first axe head I found, probably 1930s, 1940s. I don't think it's really old. Three and a quarter pounds. Still has the original wedge pretty far gone but that's yeah, kind of a neat find this is uh, the 1800s axe head two pounds 12 ounces pretty rough shape but definitely old cool find I like that we have this bad boy Four pounds, ten ounces. The piece missing, so it's probably a five pound axe head. That's a pretty manly axe head, I'll tell you. It'd be pretty rugged to break a five pound axe head. <laughs> Good find. I'll be back with part two in a minute. All right, part two, we'll start out with the gun. 1950s Leslie Henry cap gun. Cleaned up halfway decent. Still in two pieces. Haven't figured out a way to uh, repair it yet. It does fire though. So there's still hope for it. And about a week later, I found half a cap gun. I didn't record it because I was hoping to find the other half. Never did. It's a Hubley Sure Shot, 1960s. Still a good find. Wish I could find the rest of it, but I'll keep looking. And we have the crucifix. Really rough shape, so I uh, cleaned it up and uh, put brass paint on it. I know it looks a little tacky, but a lot better than the condition it was in. Not sure on the date. Guys on TreasureNet said maybe 1920s, 1930s. Something a nun would carry with her, or maybe, you know, hang around her neck or something. That's a neat find though, I like it. I'm not a religious person, but that's still really nice. And we have the toasted Drake Bus Lodge scent, which is gonna be hard to show. I soaked it in mineral oil, which made it kind of dark, unfortunately. It appears to be an 1807. It's pitted and rough shape. Wish I could find a better condition lodge scent. But I'll take it. Can't complain. It's only a decent coin I found this month. That's it for this month, guys. See you next month.